Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to Unity Game Development using the Unity Template Project. I'm a Unity certified developer with over 20 years of experience. My mission is to educate and entertain with interactive technology, and I've shipped Unity games for all sorts of different platforms, console, PC, mobile, and more. I'm available for remote contract hire as both a Unity game dev and a Unity game dev instructor. So when starting a new Unity project, you can start from scratch with something completely empty. But I've created a Unity template project here that's available free on GitHub. It includes a skeleton folder structure and some base best practices implemented. It includes a skeleton folder structure and follows best practices, including a few template scripting files. There's lots of ways you can download from GitHub. One of my favorites is to have the GitHub desktop app installed on your Mac or your PC. Then we go to code here and we open with GitHub Desktop. That'll open GitHub Desktop itself. And if you don't already have this installed, it would give you a prompt where to install it. You simply choose a folder and you're done. Then you open up the Unity Hub to get started with any project. And here we're going to be adding in the template project we just shown. So I'll choose Add Project from Disk and I'll browse to where I just installed that from GitHub Desktop. A note on that is within the Unity project template folder, there's a Unity folder. That's the one you want to select and you want to add project. Now that it's open, you could choose whichever editor you want to open in. It's going to show by default the latest LTS version. When that opens up inside Unity, on the right here, we see the My Project panel there. That's a custom README file that comes in with this. And you can also customize that if you want to ship it with your project. But it simply gives you a few areas you can click to if you want to learn more about the structure of this basic project. If you forget where that panel is located or you lose focus, up here in Window, you can browse out to the Open README and it'll open up again. It also refers you back to the URL where this was got if you want to read a little bit more of the documentation. You can see that the folder structure is here. It's got some best practices that you can follow. Again, clicking through to that GitHub link, you can read articles about how and why I constructed it this way. Some of the folders are empty and ready for you, and other ones have something in it there to get you started. Now you can open up the included scene. You can browse into that scene. See that it comes with a mono behavior. And that mono behavior has just a few lines to get you started. Of course, you can remove what doesn't work for you. The best practices included here you have a namespace, have various comments that are pre-populated just to keep your ordering of different elements from top to bottom consistent across your class files. It has an example of a property and a field, as well as some basic methods as you continue your development, you can copy and paste this starting place, or you can explore the template files that are provided also in the project. There's template classes, template components, um, templates as well for creating unit tests if you're interested in learning more about that. So there's quite a bit of there. So there's quite a bit there just to get you started, and it's all optional. Back here in the editor, we can press play and see that scene running. Nothing really interesting is happening here because we don't yet have graphics added, but it compiles and runs smoothly. That's it for using the Unity template project. Thanks.